Greetings, free people across the earth. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. We chose to stay consistent. We chose a freedom, free dominion, free domain. That is our advocacy. Yeah, we not deviate from that. Truly. Now we say our inherent right of passage. Passport meaning, you know, when you're supposed to have a passport, it's just a natural thing. Yeah. According to the Constitution, which is the supreme law of Jamaica. So we talk about our inherent right of passage. Is a passage and our inherent freedom of movement as secured, not granted, by the Jamaica Bill of Rights, i.e., when I say i.e., my common people, it's just an abbreviation for that is. So we said the Jamaica Bill of Rights which is the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, as amended the 7th and 8th of April 2011. Yeah, man. And this was ascended by the Governor General, which is the head of state, not the government of Jamaica, the Governor General's office. So when the Governor General chose to vacate his office, then I, with the knowledge, can step forward easily, or any other man or woman with that knowledge. So again, we say our inherent freedom of movement as secured, not granted by the Jamaica Bill of Rights. And then we say a non-citizen national is one who has renounced the citizenship of the Jamaica, of the government of Jamaica, and retain the United Kingdom and colonies or the Commonwealth citizenship status pursuant to the Jamaica Nationality Regulation 1962, and that is Regulation 10. Say it's not so. Say this is not your law. Again, a non-citizen national is one who has renounced the citizenship for the government of Jamaica and retained the United Kingdom and colonies or commonwealth, meaning you are American national. When you have an American national, it means you are under the commonwealth outside of the United States from the agency, put it that way, our construct, our corporate construct, the corporation to be exact, our specific. So we said no permission required from the foreign minister's office. We don't need permission to act. All you need is the knowledge. And this is what I have done. The Jamaica passport application form make provision for the amendment, adjustment, or correction of the nationality and citizenship status in Section F, Supplementary Information. This is what I've done. And when I did it, I said, they have never seen anyone do it like this. That, you know, they are clueless. So unlearned, these people. It is incumbent upon the foreign minister's office to update and correct their passport record and database to reflect the new information presented by the national upon the public record as certification of fact. So when we show them a documentation, then I say, boy, I see it from the public record. This is what it means. This is above. Yeah. Crown agency. This is why when we have a passport, because I do not have a driver's license. 
period. However, I had one before. You get, and, and that qualify me as a man where it's more than competent, more than competent. I may have a, the knowledge of what I would call a commercial driver, put it that way, yes. class A CDL. This was when, you know, a long time ago. So we have those knowledge. We went through the training, take all of the tests, pass, and acquire these instruments or at least the knowledge of such. So when me use a Jamaica passport, the moment me get senior sergeant of police from the 100 man police station, A. Edwards is his name, old guy. Can't say me's a bad guy, just unlearned. One of them old time and they were, yeah, probably not read and write. Properly. The moment we gave my passport as an identification, this is what the very first page of the passport said. The Minister of Foreign Affairs requests and requires in the name of the government of Jamaica, that Crown Agency, all those whom it may concern, police officer, constable, all of you agents, all who it may concern to allow the bearer, which is I, to pass freely without let or hindrance and to afford the bearer such assistance and protection as may be necessary. Now, most people would say, oh, passport, so when you go through international borders, no. No, simple. How much people you know of passport? We have never ever traveled nowhere. Have no intention. It's just according to the constitution and as an identification. The constitution has stipulate nothing in it at all about a driver's license. Those are those statutory acts. When I apply, it only apply if you subject yourself to it. So this is the issue a man such as I have on this island with my unlearned agents, these unlearned crown agents. You know what I mean? Man, I don't even touch all of them information. This is the issue we have. We're supposed to be a free society where you have, according to the supreme law of the land, that constitution, you have inherent right. You have the right to life, to the protection of your person, the right to own and full joy your property. You have all of these inherent rights that is secured. It wasn't granted by these foreign people. It wasn't granted by parliament. Now, none of these unlearned parliamentarian. It wasn't granted by any politician. Absolutely none of these guys. This is outside of their scopes. However, because right now it seems like this government is an apartheid government aligning itself with that apartheid counterfeit Israeli state, then they are going to pursue the same kind of activity where you see them are pushed on those Palestinian down there where it's total oppression. Because if I establish myself as a free man, this free individual here, then we shouldn't have no issue. I should not be going down the road in my private automobile, my personal conveyance, exclusively for my personal use. And an unlearned crown agent going just stop me, kidnap me, stole my property, and then take me through legal process and give issue me, issue me a recognizance bond of $100,000 where the surety is my juristic entity. It's mine. It doesn't belong to the state. 
I don't see the state name on it. And all the state need is my endorsement. And the moment you're going to coerce or threaten under threat, duress and coercion, you're going to force me to participate or to sign a notice of recognizance, then that constitutes fraud and fraud vitiate all things. This is why these people should just return my automobile to I and compensate me for the time and all of this unnecessary garbage that they are putting me through. Because I cannot submit to the will of this foreign crown agency, not with the knowledge that I keep. And none of these unlearned agents can stand in front of me and say, I have committed a crime. You understand? Because there are no victims there. This is all what you call silent deception, inducement to participate in fraud, and then you call it, yeah, conspiracy on the, on the part of these crown agency in order to fleece the birth trust, the infant estate, the juristic person. You have absolutely no authority, no jurisdiction over I as a living man. And I keep demonstrating that. And I can't wait for one hour to come and say, yes, this is a documentation where Uno have for validate so we are all slaves. Present that document. At the very first instance when I go to court, I place that very first document challenging that notice of recognizance. And then when that constable present his complaint, I place a document rebutting that complaint. And these unlearned people in their special court, this is where the fraud is, and this is what make all of these agents complicit. From the court administrative division, to the Supreme Court, to the Appellate Court, all the way down to this Mickey Mouse Special Court. They are perpetrating fraud upon us as a people. It's total oppression. Yeah, man, it's total oppression. It's tyranny at its best. Why? Because the governance which align itself with this demonic counterfeit Israeli state is trying to perpetuate the very same Nazism here on our island. It's just that most of my people, because they are caught up in this political mess, they can't see it. This is why I was the fire burn to a core, fire burn to a core. Let truth rain out the people. It's because we don't have the truth, we don't have the correct knowledge. We allow foreign people to tell us that we have African heritage and African ancestry when you were born right here in this American hemisphere. You were born right here on this landmass. However, you allow foreign Europeans from all these foreign locations that doesn't look like us come over here on this hemisphere and usurp our place, saying they are Americans when you ask, what's the point of origin? It's somewhere in Russia, Persia, Czechoslovakia, all kind of foreign location has nothing to do with this hemisphere. Absolutely nothing. We have always been a set apart people. And we have been invaded from 1492, 1655, and we are still being occupied by the British, which is a demonic foreign system. Can't talk about the people, let me know them. They demonstrate who they are individually. But the system is an oppressive foreign system and it creates its 
from agency known as the government of Jamaica, which hires or employs people who are unlearned, who lack integrity, lack morality, lack legit le legitimacy, lack validity. They can only accuse like the demonic entity that it is. Say it's not so. Say it's not so. Don't police, when we show you a passport, it said the minister, the minister of foreign affairs, that's the office, that foreign office, requests and require in the name of the government of Jamaica, which is the crown agency, all those whom it may concern, meaning all of you foreign agents, to allow the bearer, which is I, to pass freely. This is where, why they say we have freedom of movement. We don't need a driver's license. It's a specific class of people require driver's license. You understand? A specific class of people, because I've shown on the document, but say, even when you have your automobile, if you're not doing commercial business, you need no registration. I won't even say nothing else. You figure out the rest. Why do you have a juristic person or a legal entity or a surety? What is a surety? A surety is synonymous with insurance. And the surety is in place because there is no substantive money per se out there. It's just book data entry, debt credit system, put it that way. It's all negotiable negotiations. Step by step by people. Yeah, man. Government of Jamaica know my stance is lawful. They know my stance is correct. And they know my stance is divine. The government of Jamaica is aware of that. But because the government of Jamaica is align itself with a demonic force, that demonic principality, that demonic rulers in dark places, high places. Some of them, they are under the cellar too. But they are demonic out there because they don't like good and they don't like light. They, 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 they despise the truth. So they revel in their darkness. But our information is light, which dispel their darkness. It is truth, which dispel their lies. I a burn with the words from our tongue. Fire a burn. Yeah, man, let truth rain. What kind of visa in our capacity we don't need visa to travel freely. Remember, you know, once you're under the Commonwealth, then you're British subject. And that is just the status. You understand? And we know we are here in what we call the Americas. And Jamaica is just another island nation within the Americas. And we are many as a people. We are many non-African here. Non-African. We salute our African brothers over there. Specifically our South African people. Those ones that have always been under the yoke. I bond to people over there. Yeah. With Swahili speaking ones over there. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to all along the dark skin ones is really, you know. Of us, most of you guys were created as that buffer to maintain the oppression of us as a people. So not all skin folk is kin folk. We are aware of that. 
Yeah, man. So, you're not going to fool us at this. You just say, error in time. Not when information flow freely. Yeah, man. Fire burn for your colonization. Fire burn for your demonic oppression. Fire burn for your colonial political system that you impose upon our people. Fire burn may our people become aware. Yeah, man. And the deception that pervade our location. On the mainland, we have a foreign congress with some foreign people that create a lot of problems all over the world and then the world blame the Americans. The beauty about the world is that they know who the Americans are. Yeah, man, because you hear them tell us, hey, those Europeans over there in America, they say it is just that the people that is in America is totally clueless of who and what they are, specifically on this island. And this is why, you know, at least one voice after they hear speaking this way, presenting it this way, truth backed up by the evidence document form give thanks out the people again the brave may fall but never yield and we say bold and brave firm and strong i hope you guys are get it i know our level you know we'll go over people head because sometimes it seems like we're speaking parables but all you have to do it's just apply yourself. Yeah, and qualify the information what I man share. And when it's incorrect, bring it to my attention so I can make the correction and we'll move forward. But the advocacy is freedom. Free dominion. Free domain. I don't agree with people at all about we're all enslaved. Salute. To my powerful elder over there in Britain. Yeah, man, complete respect with power. Yeah, to the Rasta ambassador. Yeah, the badass platform. Yeah, man, the runaway slave, Jaboni. Complete respect with power. Out there, I elder. Salute. But we are free people, so we're not keeping a slave stigma. Not care what kind of chains these demons put on I. I am a free warrior. I am a freedom fighter. Yeah, man. And that is our advocacy. Being free. Not care who I'm there. Yeah, man. Not care who I'm there. We are stand up free in this earth. So when I live from this island and touch on the mainland, a free man, they must see a travel show. And when I go look from Britain, come, I probably need to go see what Britain is like. I, mean, I definitely wouldn't stay there. So I mean, I'm going to go work. So I wouldn't stay there. But I would like to look at some places where I ancestors stand up for dominant and not allow a foreign man to get them at all. When I say a British subject, you know, different from no other British subject. It's just when you're unaware. You don't need no visa for a lift up from this island for going to England under no circumstance. Why? Because 1981, they met the amendment, but change that. You just have to use them laws. On the mainland, America, you don't need no visa for go there. I don't know you don't need no visa for go Africa. But you have to know who and what you are. You have to know where you are. And you have to know the adversary. Period. Again, give thanks and praise. Truly, give thanks and praise. Out there.
give thanks and praise. Let the words of thy mouth and the meditation of thy heart be acceptable unto thee, O thou most high. Oh, 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 oh. Give thanks and praise.